So we need another fastest finger question, and here it is. Put these world leaders in order by their year of birth, starting with the most recent. Nelson Mandela, Golda Meir, Tony Blair, Vladimir Lenin. All right, the time's up. Let's see the answer now in the correct order, starting with the most recent, and it was Tony Blair. Then Nelson Mandela, Golda Meir, Vladimir Lenin. Now let's see who got this one right at the fastest time. Winner, the winner is Michael. Just been uh, the winner. He's an attorney from where? Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Yeah, nice to have you. I understand you've got a reputation uh, that is not at all similar to the, one of the fellows we had on the show earlier. He said I could never win anything. You seem to win everything. Well, I've, I've won a few things. I keep telling people it's just random. I don't know, lightning strikes, but now i got to admit it. I mean, maybe there's something to it. Sure. Well, like, what have you won in the past? Um, trip to a lottery uh, show. Uh, from a trip to Wisconsin. a lottery show? Yeah, Wisconsin. Wisconsin Is has that a, lottery a show. nice prize to win? Hey, they, get, they pay me. They pay me money. I took oh, a, I yeah, see. I you won some money with yeah, it. Okay, yeah. what else? Uh, won a free suit. Uh, Are you wearing it? <laughs> no, suit. Several, years, good, and few, several got... years and a few pounds ago, I'm afraid. Yeah, okay. That's good. What else? <laughs> uh, just, you know, just cash prizes with lottery a, a well, while ago. You. And, uh, you know, cash prizes on the radio, sure. tickets. Well, maybe you're going to be a lucky guy tonight, huh? I'm already lucky, but all we're going right. to stay here. 15 questions away from winning $10 million. But all I want you to do is focus on the $100,000 level so you can talk to those poor wise men who must be going crazy by now. <laughs> Way down there. With the, in the shadows, waiting, hoping to get up and protect you or do something. We'll do it. Anyway, let's play Super Millionaire right now. $1,000, Michael, take it out. In the classic Disney movie Snow White, dreamily sings, Someday my what will come. Her prince, her mother, her dwarf, her tax return. <laughs> I would, have, I would have said tax refund, but I don't think she was from the States, so we'll go with Prince, final answer. Yes, you're right. It was Prince. All right, one down, 14 to go. Here it is, 2000. In 1989, the fall of communism was signaled by a historic dismantling of a wall dividing what city? Was it Warsaw, Vienna, Prague, Berlin? That would be D, Berlin, final answer. Got it right for $2,000. 3,000. A pizza pie with one slice missing was the inspiration for what classic video game character? Mario, Dig Dug, Pac-Man, Frogger. Well, I'm not certain, but the only one of those that looks like a pizza with a slice missing is Pac-Man, so I'm going to go see Pac-Man final. And you got that one right. That's $3,000. Go boy. All right, he's really moving. Here it is for 4,000, Michael. The word bootleg comes from an old practice in which smugglers hid what in their boots? Gold, alcohol, diamonds, pistols. Boy, what? It would not be diamond or gold. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the alcohol, and I'm going to go final answer. And you're right. And you're absolutely right. And you won 4,000, and you're going for 5,000 right now. What supermodel is the creator and host of the TV series America's Next Top Model? Heidi Klum, Rebecca Romaine Stamos, Naomi Campbell, Tyra Banks. I am totally clueless, but I am sure that this smart audience knows the answer. Really? This way. So let's let's get it, guys. All right. Help me out here. Okay, audience, time for a comeback. Michael needs your help. If you're ready, audience, on your keypads, vote now. Audience gives it to uh, Tyra Banks by a big margin, 84%. These guys are way too smart to miss that. I am going to go Tyra Banks, and I'm going to go final answer. And you just won five thousand. Yeah. And you're five questions away from that next 
dimension, and when we come back, we'll reveal the identities of those mysterious wise men. Don't go away. Who are these masked men and women secured away in the dungeons below? Find out when we come back on ABC. from Oak Flair with Thompson in the hot seat right now and has won $5,000. And we get to meet your wife right now, Francie. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Hello, what a lucky Regis. woman you are to be married to a guy who's so lucky. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. How long have you been married? <laughs> It'll be 20 years in October. Is that right? Oh, wow. Good. <laughs> what, uh, what would you do if you, if you did win the big money? Either one of you. Oh. What would you like, Francie? What would I like? I'd like to travel a little more, and I think with the advice of my dad, we'd use some mutual funds. Well, what about you? What do you want? Uh, we're both agreed on the travel, and I also agree on the investing. Your father is marvelous, very smart with money. Somebody told me you need a new car. Oh, I could use a new car, yeah. but it hasn't fallen apart yet. No. But how many miles? Uh, about 114,000. No kidding. How old is this car? 97. 97. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, work takes me around sometimes. I'll bet it does. All right, you all ready to go here? Oh, You're yeah. You're just five questions away from winning $100,000 in the next dimension of this game. As you know, if you get there, we're going to give you two new lifelines. One of them is called the Three Wise Men, and now we can reveal the identities of the two wise men and one wise woman here. Standing by to leap to your rescue, they are the richest winner in the history of American television game shows, Kevin Olmsted. the professor of psychiatry at UCLA School of Medicine, Dr. Curly Bonds. And a film critic for Entertainment Weekly magazine with a degree in classical music from Sarah Lawrence College, Lisa Schwartzbach. Nice to have all of you here. Could have used your advice a few minutes ago for a few of our previous contestants, but, you know, we can't go there until somebody gets to $100,000. Okay, ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it, Michael. Let's play yeah. Super Mario. Back at it, and here it comes for 10,000. In government, the so-called trickle-down theory is commonly used to justify what? Stiff criminal sentences, tax cuts, energy conservation, affirmative action. Actually, I, I was an econ major in Madison, and I believe trickle-down refers to the economy, and the theory is that if you give tax cuts to the folks at the top, it trickles down. So I will say B, final answer. Yes, absolutely right. Tax cuts it is. He's up to 10. He's going for 20,000. The Romans originally established the length of a mile as how many paces walked off by a soldier? 100. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. All right. 5,280 feet in a mile, which means that it's about 1,700 yards. And a pace is about a yard, so that lets out to me everything but B. And I'm going to say B, final answer. Final answer is B, and you got that one right, too. Yeah. 